Hopefully you saw in the last video, we uh, got this drain cut in here. And all I did is I took a cutout and I taped it on the opening here, just so nothing gets up in there until we're ready to actually put that piece on, uh, which I can do at a later date. I just want to get this cut in so I wasn't doing this upside down under the bus. Today, as I stated earlier, where we did this part, we're hoping to get this tank up in the bus. That is the next project. Now, one thing I want to do is I don't, uh, well, this is going to be flipped over, obviously. And this other side is going to go up against the underneath of the bus. And I don't want it pressed up against the metal. So I have some rubber stuff I'm going to lay on it. And I'll show you that somewhere here. Right here. Some of this is going to lay on top of that tank. Take it out there and I'll show you. So there's the drain down underneath there. This is where the fill will go in from, you know, the sinks and stuff upstairs, up in the bus. Now I'm going to cut this down to size, maybe, if it rolls. Yeah, I'll have to cut it down because there's not enough space up in there. But basically I want to have a layer of this rubber. I have another piece too. So then I can tighten this tank right up against the bottom of the bus. And plastic is not rubbing on the metal of the bus. It's actually pinched up against this nice thick rubber and if I can have it roll around the sides a little bit I will we'll see once we get it up in there and how much space we have uh, but I know it's gonna be pretty snug the space so the next thing to do is to get this thing over there I gotta get it up in there make a few drill a few holes up through the floor of the bus and get at least two supports on this thing um, but let's uh, get it back over there and get it jacked up in the pos position so we can drill a couple holes and see what we got so you can see we got the tank up in here uh, just temporarily in place with the jack and basically what I've done is I've marked two ends where I need to put the hole on both sides down there so the, the bar will go across. You'll see all this. And then I mark this end up in where it needs to be drilled on both sides. And then I put a mark here so I have a, a, a support going just next to this drain as well. And the ones in the middle here, they don't really matter. I'm just going to space them out evenly. There's nothing else in the way. I just wanted the two ends correct and one next to the drain for support. And then the rest will just do whatever makes sense when we take some measurements. So the thing we got to do now is drop this tank back out of here and uh, start drilling some holes so we can put the um, threaded rods up. In. So that's what we're going to do next. I know we're not showing all this process, but we're kind of telling you along the way as we do it as best we can. All right, so we're making this progress here on the on the tank installation. Now, I did drill up through the floor on this side. However, it's so close to the wall, it's actually touching the inside wall. There's no way we can get a nut or anything on it. So I decided on this particular side of the bus, we just don't have any extra space. It's got to be out as far as possible. And this one here has got to be as far as possible close to this uh, frame. Um, I decided that I'm just going to go through just this bracket here and bolt on top but I am going to run a piece of angle iron or um, pressure treated hardwood or something on top to drill up through as well so we have good solid I don't want to just hang on just this metal bracket here uh, and then this side here we will go through the floor because there's, there's plenty of room to work with. Uh, so once we get this finalized, we'll duplicate this all the way down with all the can, all the um, supports we want to do, and then we'll slide the tank up in. So we're making progress. But, I mean, I guess there's room on the here, but it's uh, hard on your neck holding that cup doing this. We'll get to the next step here sooner or later. So uh, the next thing we're doing, we got to kind of figure out what we're going to do for the holes and how we're going to support it, and we'll show all that. But i got to get all these cut in half. Now originally we are going to go right in half with them because we are going up to the floor of the bus. However, on the outside edge of the bus we are not going to be able to go up to the floor. We are going to go into the bracket underneath. So it is leaving us a lot of extra thread on that side and the other side is really tight. So I am going to give one inch back to the other side and that will make sense once we have it up in there and I will show you. So I am going to cut this off at 19 and that leaves the other side at 17 and that will work uh, just fine for us. And these should, well I already cut one half, cut pretty easy, but just using the hacksaw here. Well, you know what, I think I talked about this in the bus build somewhere in an earlier video. It's a Diablo blade. Man, it's the same darn blade I've been using for all kinds of stuff. I would definitely, I'll put a link for these in the description. You know, you pay a little extra for them, but it is well worth it. I have not changed this blade. My brother's used it, a friend of mine used it, and the same darn blade is still cutting all this stuff. It cut a lot turning. faster, but the darn thing is vibrating on me. So that's all we're doing right there, so you can see. Uh, but we'll test run it before we cut all of them and make sure it's going to work for us. So that's all we're doing is drilling the holes in. And then I'm putting a block up there to give that's going to go across here to here. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Anyway, I mentioned this to a comment to somebody saying I was dreading this project. Uh, but they commented back that they've seen my build and that I'm quite capable. Which, they're correct and I appreciate it. It was a very nice comment. Um, however, I was still dreading this project. Um, we've been working on this now for a few hours. And you know, I had to make some modifications. 
but we're getting there. We got um, you know quite a few of the thread of rods up in now. Uh, you know, so they're all up through the bus floor, and then the ones over here, I got them up through uh, the framework of the bus here, and then I went up through a pressure treated um, board as well. And we're gonna keep an eye on this. I think I might end up putting angle brackets in here. I mean, steel up in there, but this is gonna. I mean, this should be plenty strong as it is. But I wanted this sitting on the lip of both sides. And we're doing that down this whole side. And we got, there's actually seven of these on each side. So there's 14 of these threaded rods coming down through total uh, that are going to hold up that tank. Uh, so I think we're going to have more than enough support. So yeah, I'm just, Trace is inside right now. Not inside, she's uh, actually cutting me another board and finding some more nuts and stuff that I need to finish this up. But it is getting there. Uh, then we need to get the padding on the on the tank, get it pressed up into place, and then I got to cut all the, the bars that are going to go across underneath, cut them all to length, and then drill all the holes. We'll jack the, the tank up and hold it with a jack, get a couple of those in, then remove it. I was not looking forward to this project. I'm still not sure we're going to complete it today, to be honest with you, because I'm getting hungry. I don't know. So we might have to run downtown and get some more bolts. I know I have some, I mean nuts, I know I have some, but they're mismatched ones now. We're hunting and hunting, and sometimes it's easy just to shoot down to the store and pick up, you know, 10 more nuts and be done with it. But we'll see, we'll let you know. But that's where we're at right now, underneath here, slowly uh, getting our tank ready to hang up underneath here. What I'm doing now is cutting a hose to go over the threaded rod, way up so it's protecting the tank from the threaded rod. And then once we get it all bolted up with these, I can then cut off any extra. Now I put a big rubber mat up on top I showed you, and it wraps over the side, both sides of the tank. So that's protecting most of it, but I still want to see if I can get these pieces of hose up on every threaded rod. And the tank is protected. The battery's about ready to die. We are wrapping it up here for tonight. Now, we did not get it finished. Hopefully the battery lasts. Yeah, we're still recording. But the tank is in here. And you can see this is what we're doing here. Sorry. We got this uh, beam across here. Let's get out of the light there. Uh, this is pretty thick metal and the threaded rods. Uh, we're going to cut these off once we know where we're going to. And I'm going to double nut this too. I'm going to put another nut here. Uh, hopefully you can see that. And then I'll peen over the end of it so the nuts can't back off. And that'll take care of that. And then you, hopefully you can see too that we put that uh, garden hose up on top of there too. So we're going to do that with every one of these when we're done. And this tank will not come out of here. So I'm very happy with it. Like I said, we got the, the drain plugged through here. Ready to go to put the actual valve on. Like I said, we're wrapping it up today. And we'll be been really underneath this bus pretty much all day. For the most part, other than we did get some pellets this morning we had to deal with. But uh, anyway, thanks for coming along with us. Hopefully this gives you an idea how you can do your tank if you're doing a bus conversion. It may not be the best way, but I'm telling you, I'm not worried about this tank falling out once we're all done with it. And it's up inside. Have a good day. Remember, life is a wild ride. We'll see you in the next video. Oh, this is the bus light, ain't it? Oh, wow. Yeah, I gotta clean this garage all over again. Just never ends. Surprised it ain't dead. Are you tired? Six pallets of pellets today. Three here, three at Mom's house. We already brought one of hers in, uh, but we got the other two to bring in.